study Arata. Do you think of yourself as silly? Is there a voice in your head that every time you make a mistake is strengthening this idea of you being silly? If the answer is yes, for every mistake you make, the belief of yourself being silly will become bigger. A mistake is just helping to strengthen this opinion of all being silly. And take a look here. It all starts with the way that you're thinking. And thinking that you're silly is a horrible way to start. Don't mistake thoughts with facts. The idea that you have about yourself being silly, that is just a thought. That is not a fact. So when somebody else comes and says that you are silly, or when you are looking at yourself in the mirror and you think, oh my god, I'm so silly. This is just an idea. These are thoughts, these are beliefs, these are opinions. And an opinion is different from a fact. Opinions that don't represent reality, they're just a possible interpretation of reality. And opinions can be wrong. Next time you're thinking about yourself being silly, remember this, this is just an opinion. This is not a fact. And above all, you have to be honest with yourself, you have to be fair with yourself. Don't evaluate yourself in a biased way, in a wrong way, in an unfair way. Because you have the ability to identify the situations when you're making mistakes, right? And the same way you can do that, you can also notice many situations in which you do good things, that you have good results. You can fail, for example, in math, in the exam that you have at school, but at the same time, maybe you are very good at playing music, or maybe you can't speak, I don't know, German or French, but perhaps you are a great communicator in English. To have a balanced vision, in addition to, the, uh, to all the aspects that, that honestly you want to improve, you want to become better at so many things that currently say, well, my results right now, they're not so good. But if you want to be balanced, you also want to celebrate the abilities that you have. Have a good vision, a good balanced vision about everything. Don't ignore the good stuff that you have just because you made a few mistakes. You have to be very realistic about the situation that you have. A negative opinion will harm your performance. When you live your life thinking that you are silly, well, all the um, effort that you put later, the dedication that you have when you are practicing something may become suboptimal, weaker, because you're not going to dedicate all that is necessary to perform a certain activity if you are feeling weak, incapable, silly, anxious, intimidated. Even there will be moments in which you might feel sick. You, you can feel bad, physically speaking, because you are not um, motivated enough to do your best performance because you have a belief that you're silly. It could also happen when you have uh, unrealistic expectations. This is a big problem these days because many people have a childish thought that the only activity that is worth being done is the activity that is perfect. And it's not possible to be doing perfect things, at least not all the time. And when you realize that whatever it is that you're trying to do is not coming out perfect, what's going to happen? You will procrastinate. Because your anxiety is rising, you don't know how to deal with all of that, and the easiest thing is just to go watch some cat videos on YouTube. You're going to do something irrelevant. You're going to turn on the TV. You're going to go to Facebook, to all the other social networks. You're going to be wasting your time. You're going to do anything except that thing that you have to do. And the real problem here is that your expectations are just too high. They're not realistic. So if you can be more modest, if you can accept all the intermediary steps in your learning process, that will make things so much easier for you. You can take a look at our video, How to Learn Anything Difficult, by going to arata.se forward slash study mastery. That is a video which is around one hour long and will help you a lot to deal all, with all that anxiety. Get rid of the false modesty. Another source that feeds all that negative opinion that you are silly is called false modesty. 
These are the moments where you are blind to your own success. You ignore the good stuff that you do. You think, oh, no, that's nothing. That's false modesty. That's the moment when you feel that if you make a small mistake, that's unforgivable. That's horrible. You, 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 you're like uh, thinking about that for many days, for many weeks. Oh, my God, how, how come could I be so stupid by doing that? And then you're thinking about that over and over and over again, having this negative conversation with yourself because you can't forgive yourself. And to deal with this, you just have to have good sense. Again, be balanced. Take a look at the moments when you're doing things right, when you have success, uh, when, you, when you're studying and you're getting good results because these moments also exist. See the problems, the mistakes, the silly moments. There's opportunities for you to continue learning. Strengthen your view about yourself. When you let other people's opinions to get in the way about how you think about yourself, that is a big problem. That is a risk that you have because you're allowing yourself to be too easily influenced. You're allowing other people to tell who you are. And that is a horrible idea. When other people are arriving and they start to criticize you, remember, the most important opinion of all is your own opinion. It is inside of yourself where you will find self-love, self-acceptance, and trust that you need to go on. One very common topic these days is about bullying in schools. And bullying happens when some children think that it's funny to be mocking and humiliating other people. In this situation, the, the bully, the aggressor, is the most unhappy person of all. Because that's a person having difficult time to accept himself. And that's how he or she needs to make everybody else around feel inferior so they can feel better. So again, uh, the same logic is applicable here. Don't let that bully tell you who you are. Don't let other people tell you that you're silly. Uh, don't let other people disqualify you saying that you're silly. I'm not saying that well, don't let people say that, that you should start to fight and go punch everybody. No. When somebody tells you that you're silly, that you're incompetent, that you are horrible, just don't take it personally. Now, don't let those insults enter, get deep inside of you. Don't let anybody else's opinion to influence your own identity. You want to strengthen your own view about yourself. Don't let external elements decide how you see yourself. So, in the case of having a bad grade in a test, don't let that bad grade mm, affect how you see yourself, your identity, your self-esteem. Just realize that's an indicator that, well, the next time you do a similar test like that, you have a different strategy to study and probably you're going to have a different grade. A bad grade does not represent you, your true identity, who you are, that you're a bad person. Think about the path that we need to walk in order to get where we want to get. Say no to the lack of patience, the lack of dedication, of effort, of discipline. See, you're not silly. Your decisions, of course, they can improve. You can get better results every time you have better strategies to deal with your current challenges. And what we want to get rid of is the immediatism. That's the problem that we want to solve. And for that, I would like to invite you one more time to take a look at our video. It's quite long. It's almost one hour of video about how to learn anything that is difficult. You can go to the link arata.se forward slash study mastery.